What's up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome on back to the Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. In the last part, we took down Morty, the fourth gym leader, over in Ecarteek City. So you might be wondering why I am back in Cherry Grove City. Well, for the next two episodes, including this one, we are going to be checking out some optional areas that you can check out with Surf. Now that we got the HM for it from the dance theater after defeating the Team Rocket Grunt. And then we got the badge in order to use it outside of battle. So I decided to split it up into two videos. This video, we're basically just going to be grabbing a ton of the items around the region so far. Next episode, we'll take on the Union Cave because that actually has some trainers in it and all that good stuff. So yeah, no trainer battles in this video. It'll probably be a short one but that is okay. So we're gonna begin here in Cherry Grove City by surfing on this little pond of water and talking to the man in the middle. And I'm pretty sure he's the one that gives us the mystic water. So a very awesome item for any water types that you have. I'll probably end up giving it to Croconaw, so I might as well. Also, I don't know if this guy's just randomly stranded here on this patch of land. And then I know there is also a hidden um a hidden nugget back up this way you actually have to it's weird you gotta loop around on route 30 and then it's uh this is a little pond down here and it's right by the pokemon center so i'm gonna try to find it you know i've got all the time in the world because again we're just grabbing items in today's video not really much going on did my super repels just run out and i didn't notice what the heck is up with that oh you know why it's because i still have eevee out front Shoot, yeah, Eevee's still chilling at level 13, so let me go ahead and switch someone else to the front of the party. Skip Bloom will do, and we will go check out where this uh, hidden nugget is. It should be right on this patch. There we go. Now, the unfortunate thing about checking out all of these areas this early on in the game is that we don't have access to fly yet. We won't be able to use that until after defeating the fifth gym leader so honestly i wouldn't blame you if you just like waited until checking out all these places once you got fly because it's a little easier but i'm gonna do it here again um this episode's already gonna be short as is so i don't think i'm gonna cut out anything might as well just do it all in one go because why not and then again tomorrow we're gonna check out the union cave because that actually has more items as well as a lot of trainers to take on and you can also check out a bit of the ruins of alf also my phone is like nearly dead so i have it on battery saver mode which is kind of annoying because it you know goes dark every like couple of minutes or really like every minute but, uh, yeah, hopefully it just doesn't die on me because I need Bulbapedia open for all of these items. Anyways, let's go to Violet City next. There are two more items that we can pick up. Luckily, these are not hidden. But, yeah, basically, we're going to work our way from Cherry Grove City all the way to, I think, Route 35 has the last hidden item in it. So, let me go ahead and spray... Another super repel. I've got four left, so I'm chilling, even though I feel like I'm kind of wasting them since we're not on the water for too long. But right here is a rare candy. And then it seems like on the other side will be the PP pee -pee up. And then we'll move on down to Route 32. So I know I'm taking a bit of a detour. Sorry if you like, I don't know, don't like when people get off track in a Pokemon game or something. But I'm just checking out some areas that, you know, people probably overlook a lot of the time. So, yeah, why the heck not? And down this little corridor of trees, if you want to call it, is the PP up. So our next stop is Route 32, and there's really only a hidden heart scale here. So I will, uh, I will see if I can find it. There's, like, a ton of rocks, though. Not sure if I'll be able to. I mean, heart scales, I think they can be used for one of the move tutors or relearners in this game. They usually are. That's, like almost always the use that they have so that's what i'm going with and another super repel i really should have stocked up on more now that i look at it oh well could have would have should have so let's go down onto the bridge by the fisherman and then it's somewhere in one of these rocks i think it's by this little uh you know big structure holding up the giant bridge going over the top is it in the small rock maybe on the side is it on the other side maybe maybe not it says it's east to the fisherman 
next to the leg of the train bridge. Oh wait, it might be in the actual thing. Maybe not. You know what? I highly doubt I'm going to be able to find this heart scale. Just know that there's a heart scale somewhere over here. If you want to look for it, you can um, you can grab it. It says it's in the small rock. Wouldn't that be this rock right here? Hey, there it is. I was literally like one spot away. You've got to be kidding me. All right, well, I just wasted like a whole minute doing that, but it's fine. Next stop is the Slowpoke Well. So as I said, we're going to bypass the Union Cave for now. Just uh, not going to bother with it just yet because it's got a lot more to it and i want to just give it its own episode i'm on a big time crunch for like the rest of this week just because of school assignments and whatnot that i'll probably have to work on throughout thursday and friday as well as through the weekend so having these uh, shorter episodes kind of works out for me so uh yeah it's just convenient anyways you'll probably remember where the uh surfing spot is in the slow poke well because it was kind of right next to where we were walking now i know there is a uh you know a couple of things that require strength and i don't think we have strength yet though right let me just quickly double check no we do not have strength so we won't be able to get those items and i just realized all of these items require strength well you don't get strength until the next city so i guess we are not checking out the slowpoke well then thanks a lot bulbapedia you could have told me that they needed strength at least i'm pretty sure you oh you know what no i know where you get strength it's different than it is in gold and silver oh that stinks because i should have gotten it at like the end of yesterday's episode okay i'll uh i'll probably do a cut at the end of this video to go back to the slow poke well and i forgot that my freaking super repels ran out okay that's fine we'll uh cut back to the slow poke well at the end after i show you guys where to get strength because as i said it's different than the original gen 2 games which um i sort of forgot about but um yeah i'll show you where to get that and then we'll go back to the slow poke well and pick up a couple of items you can actually get a tm and the king's rock in there so two pretty solid items i don't want to miss out on that let me go ahead and surf through this pond i think there's a hidden big mushroom pretty obviously in this little gap and yep there it is so next stop is route 34 and there actually are some trainers we can battle, I think. For some reason, it uh, it doesn't list, Bulbapedia is not listing them, but I just remember, there's like a group of trainers that kind of just gang up on you. So, yeah, we're going to have some fun doing that, I suppose. And I don't think they should be too high leveled since we just got surfed. They'll probably be around our level. But yeah, basically, you're going to just hop on this water and surf all the way down and you actually get a reward for defeating these trainers which is kind of nice so let me see i'm pretty sure there is a uh, hidden nugget somewhere next to this picnicker by the fence it's not in the fence is it maybe it is in the fence no i don't want to go surfing again if i can't find the nugget that'd be fine i just want to try to find the rare candy um let's see i think it's a bit further down oh here is the oh okay the nugget wasn't hidden yeah great going me no the rare candy though is the thing i want to find and it is somewhere around here right maybe it says it is the upper left corner from the second tree from the right so like you know that's like the most confusing thing i've ever read is that here somewhere around here all right you know what there's a hidden rare candy somewhere there I'm not the best at finding hidden items. I do have the dowsing machine, which I probably should be using, but I'm too lazy to whip that out. I'm sure you guys know where the uh, rare candy is if you've searched up like those videos of, you know, every single rare candy location in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, like right before you have to take on Red. And speaking of taking on people, here we go. We actually do have some trainer battles. I lied earlier, apparently, and they are ace trainers, so they've got some pretty cool mods like Staryu which is sick, and I still have Eevee up front, probably not the best idea, but we are going to uh, to see how this goes. You're going for Camouflage, oh no, does that change your typing? Does it? I completely forget what it does. Okay, Ground Type, I'm actually fine with that, that means uh, Bullet Seed is still super effective. Yeah, Camouflage, I'm not sure what the typing is based off of, or if it's just completely random. Of course, I only hit twice. Perfect, and Eevee, you got critted, no, come on, I'm just trying to get Eevee some experience, man, you've got to be kidding me, 
Oh, this is just, come on, we're barely doing any trainer battles and yet I'm still struggling. But as I said, it'll be worth it. You'll get a power herb for defeating all three of these trainers, which is sort of cool, I guess. I'm sure it's an item that I'll like never use though. And there we go. Take a crit right back, Staryu. Screw you. Technically, it was the Goldeen, but whatever. I'm going after both of these mods now, showing no freaking mercy. Oh, I can't believe that. Eevee is still, you know, he's like over 10 levels lower than my other mods, and he is just not getting any help. It's going to be a while um, switch training Eevee, I guess. But that's okay. You know, we've uh, done, what, five walkthroughs so far? This is our sixth, I think. I always can't remember. Oh, and we've got a star me. This is actually kind of scary. Thanks to Ariados being weak to Psychic. But Starmie's just going to go for Swift. That splits the damage, which is pretty nice. Still does a good chunk. But we'll get some of that back with Leech Life after I use up these Bullet Seeds. And yeah, look at this. Level 26. So yeah, these trainers, they don't really mess around. They really don't. That is, that is all I'm saying. And yeah, Starmie at level 26. Not going to have too many great moves. Skip Loom's honestly going to go down. I don't think I'm going to bother switching here except skip Loom's also only level 23 dude everyone's just like i don't know everyone's just all over the place in terms of levels and then i've got the two other random you know spiro and what's it called ratata sitting in the back of the party but we will be replacing one of those mons very soon um in the last episode i think i mentioned it too that we are getting our next team member relatively soon in the game so be on the lookout for that within like the next, you know, three videos or so. And down goes the Starmie. That means it is just a 2v1. Still so annoying that Eevee got one shot just because of a crit. All right, Gatorade, get out here. We'll go with a bite and back to Nightshade. That should do it for this Goldeen. Unfortunately, we're slower than a Goldeen. I thought Ariodos was faster, but gosh, he's even slower than Croconaw now that I realize it. Man, I mean, as a big old spider, I feel like you should be able to crawl super fast. But no, no, that is just not the case. And then you've got a Seeking. Oh, don't you just love this stupid water type duo that I now hate because they're killing all my mons. And I'll probably hit myself in confusion. There you go. Called it. I just put it right into existence. Love to see it. Not to mention, we still have a third trainer to go after this. Kind of wild. But luckily, that's not a double battle, so it shouldn't be as tough. Can we get through Confusion, please? No, dude, come on. We could have finished it right there. And now she's going for Water Pulse. I'll probably get confused off of this. Ooh, surprisingly, I didn't. Okay, here we go, Crocodile. Your chance to uh, finish the battle. Actually, I don't even think a bite will kill. Seeking is a chunky little fish. I mean, you do get it off. Maybe you get a flinch. Hey, <laughs> you do get a flinch. Okay. Well, that battle took a little longer than I would have liked, but it's fine. We'll move on to the third member of this weird trio that's hiding out in the middle of nowhere. And down goes the Shelter and Cloister for the last person. I think all of these people are sisters, so that's why they're all together in this random little hideaway. I don't really know what the heck they're doing. Ace Trainer Kate, y'all are freaking weird. But as I said, as a reward, we'll get the Power Herb. Sort of forget what it does. I'm sure they're going to explain it, but I don't want to listen to these people talk any longer. Screw y'all. You killed, like, almost all of my team. Um, but let's go back up to Goldenrod City. We only have one more thing to pick up before we go back to the Slowpoke Well. And so I was about to say, can I get up there without running into a Mon? Of course I cannot. We've got a freaking Tentacool doing who knows what. And, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and continue on surfing. I think it's just another hidden item on Route 35. And these wild Pokemon are just not making it any easier. Tentacruel, though, somehow at level 20. Yeah, okay. I didn't know wild Pokemon are now using PK Hex and all that stuff. Getting out their game sharks. And we're almost there. There we go. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to bother healing. I will bother buying items if my game wouldn't, like, freak out. Holy smokes. I don't know why that's been happening recently. Um, it's only with Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which is kind of strange. And you are the wrong person. For some reason, they split it up in the uh, department store. But here we go. I'm going to get, like, 15 of these things. 
that's gonna take away a lot of the money I just got from the gym and stuff, but it's fine. Let's go back down, and yeah, as I said, Route 35 is the last spot to check out before heading back to the Slowpoke Well. I really made this trek longer than it needed to be by not getting strength earlier. I should have done that at the beginning or something, but what can you do? Okay, so I'm pretty sure it is just across this little pond. We actually have to start surfing from here because for some reason a fence goes around like the entire thing. Don't know if they want to protect it, but uh, I'm hopping on it. So now it is not getting protected anymore. Now the good news is after picking up all these like nuggets and big mushrooms, we're going to be able to have a lot of items. And by the way, here is an apricorn. So I guess we can grab that too. And then it is somewhere above this apricorn tree. So I'm just going to start spamming a, oh my gosh, this area is bigger than I thought it was. And of course I'm in like the wrong little row for it. All right, back down the other way, there it is. Okay, so let me uh, quickly get back over to Violet City and show you where to pick up strength. Yeah, I was totally thinking of gold, silver, and crystal because in those games, you actually don't get it into Olivine City from the little cafe, but here you can pick it up right after defeating Morty and it's just to the east of Ecartic City. Also, I'm checking my battery on my phone right now, trying to make sure I don't run out of battery because, um, you know, I still need to go into the Slopo well and whatnot. And I'm going to be like left stranded without Bulbapedia. Except Bulbapedia hasn't been too good in today's video. Let's be real. I mean, it's kind of been not leading me to where the hidden items are. Anyways, as I said, head over to the east of Agritique City through the gate. Wade was just calling me for a second. I don't care about him. And then if you start heading more to the east, boom. Some dude is going to come running right out of the Mount Mortar cave entrance. And as an apology for running into us, he's going to give us the HM for strength. So I know there's also an item right above me, but for now, I got to get right back to Slowpoke Well. Okay, time to do this for real now that I actually brought strength with me. I actually had to catch a freaking sand shrew because Rat Attack couldn't learn strength. Anyways, we're down here in the Slowpoke Well, and I'm pretty sure you don't want to surf across that pond. That has, like, nothing for you. I forgot to spray Super Repels. Oh, I'm so dumb. Yeah, this video is going to end up being a lot longer than I thought it would. I guess there were more areas to check out, and I did forget about the trainers. So that's fine. You still got, like, a normal length video, which is cool with me. And, uh, yeah, I t uh, nicknamed the... Sandshrew Strength, so, you know, just like Ratata, who's nicknamed Cut, now we've got Strength. And the only reason we need it is for this boulder right here, just past where, you know, we fought Proton back when we first got here. And we're actually going to go down to the bottom floor in just a second. I think there is a um, hidden full heal, though, just next to the ladder. I don't know if it's in a rock. I don't think it is, but I'll try to find it. Not going to spend too long on it, though. The better items are down below. And let's see, where is it? Is it in this little dark patch? Mm, usually that's where hidden items are, but looks like it's right next to it. All right, that was pretty easy. And then down here, I don't know if there's... No, the guy in here, there actually is a dude here, but he's the one that gives you the King's Rock. I was about to say, I don't think he's a trainer, and Crocodile just walks through me right there. And, uh, yeah, if we come up here, here he is. It's like one of these super nerd dudes. I don't know. He's looking at the Slowpoke down here, and he gives us the King's Rock. So, of course, if you trade a Slowpoke with, uh, with it holding the King's Rock, it will evolve into Slowking. Other than that, you can give your Pokemon the King's Rock to hold, and it'll have a, I think, 10% chance to flinch the opponent, no matter what move you use. So, it can be used in that way as well. And the only other thing in here is TM18 Rain Dance. So yeah, that will do it for today's episode. Next time we are checking out the Union Cave. For now, have a great rest of your day, and until then, deuces!